that I can only draw two players from this pack. And let me tell you the story about this pack. Vlahovic, exceptional and good base start, base start with him, and he can have better ball control with dribbling. Passing is terrible on him, but he is your finisher, he's a goal poacher, he's not there to create chances or something like that. You need to use uh, one point for the quick counter and three to long ball counter if you want to play two play styles. Already decent speed, acceleration is a little bit where you need to tweak it. Finishing is good and kicking power is good. But if you want to do free kicks with him, you need to invest more on finishing. How will I would develop him? He's on the speed and acceleration, dribbling and finishing. That is how I would go with Vlahovic. Also, first time shot, dipping shot, knuckle shot, long range curler, you name it. Everything for the, your prime finisher. Di Maria. Uh, decent set. For the start, and he can be your good uh, left or right flanker or advanced midfielder, and and because he's a creative playmaker, I would actually uh, develop him to be more as a playmaker than to be as a flanker because um, in this formation that we are currently playing, uh, with his stats, he can only go, he can only be a super sub come from the bench if you're trailing and you need that extra attacking force and not defensive wise because his defensive awareness is 53 that's terrible tackling 51 terrible aggression 62 that's okay decent for a flanker defensive engagement 54 terrible as well but what will i increase on him is ball control dribbling and tight possession passing and a little bit of speed and acceleration not just much a little bit because I would actually use him as advanced mid midfielder and to create chances behind two strikers and also because he's creative playmaker and also has amazing run inclusive run and hit early closes he can go outside yeah he could be a, a decent center midfield or decent advanced advanced midfielder that's how I would go with him Bremer, extra frontman. What I would do on Bremer is, beside play style, I would do speed and acceleration and defensive awareness. I, I, I wouldn't go anywhere near the uh, passing because his pass 65 is a good pass for extra frontman. He doesn't need to create anything, he just needs to be there and to disrupt the your enemies attacks so he needs speed and defensive awareness and tackling and aggression and defensive engagement that is what he needs obviously stamina to withstand the entirety of the of the match again one point on quick counter four points on long ball counter but you are good with 86 on long ball counter as well he has man marking he has interceptions acrobatic clearance in area superiority because if he, when you go with jumping and contact, he, he would be unstoppable in the reach as well. So, Bremer is another player that I would actually want to get. So from this pack, for now, because I don't have money, I would like to get Vlahovic and Bremer. That would be my first two choices. Uh, offensive goalkeeper Szczesny. Well, actually, actually... He has 75 starting reflexes. Everything below 80 is a terrible starting reflexes. And Szczesny is your last result. If you don't have any good goalkeepers, Szczesny is for you. And I, I, I played against Szczesny a couple of matches. He can save miraculously, but he's not that great. He's not in your top 10 goalkeepers. So I wouldn't waste anything. If you get him, just collect uh, to be your uh, trainer or anything like that because if you already have goalkeepers you don't need him if you don't have goalkeepers then keep him but what should you, what you should do 
is goalkeeping reflexes, goalkeeping awareness and pairing are the skills that you need to increase on him. Obviously, play style, but those three skills, pairing, reflexes and goalkeeping awareness are the key stats that you need to increase on Szczesny, as max as you can. But keep it balanced, because if you have 95 reflexes, by any chance, and you have goalkeeping awareness about 80, it's not going to work. You need to have it at least 87 to 90, that kind of range. It's because of three points. That's, that's how you, you need to have him all around. You, you cannot have uh, 95 reflexes and 80, and 80 goalkeeping awareness because that will do shit for you. He will save long ranges, but in the penalty area, he will uh, concede every goal. Locatelli, excellent orchestrator, but I would develop him as a box to box. I would do a little bit more ball control, dribbling, and tight possession on him. A little bit of passing as well. Uh, defensive tackling aggression is something that you need to also increase on him, and speed and acceleration. Good starting point for the quick counter, one point allocate there, and three points on the long ball, so four points are going to go to uh, uh, playstyle proficiency. Everything else you can invest on the player. Rabio. Honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend to anyone. He, he he is box to box, but he is slow as fuck. Again, same principle for the playstyle like uh, Locatelli. But you need to increase his defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, defensive engagement, and you need to increase it a lot. So he can go there and be that. He is tall. Um, ball control, dribbling, and tight possession is already decent on him. So you will not lose ball that much with him. But honestly, something something is fishy with him for me. Personally, I, I don't like uh, even when Rebio came to Juventus. So maybe that is why I have resentment towards this card, but it can be decent, it can be decent, but it's it's up on, up to you. Bonucci, legend, fucking legend, build up player, has dribbling, has, has tight possession, all the skills that you don't need in defender, he has good passing and lots of pass, so you don't need to increase anything there. What you need to do with him is increase quick counter, by one point, long ball counter by three points, and everything else, everything else, I mean everything, on defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, and defense engagement, and speed and acceleration to be above 70, well, acceleration above 73, speed above 75. And with that, you will have beast in defense. You will have the fucking beast in defense with Bonucci. Now, when I think of it, I would like to get Bonucci. McKenna, box to box. He's, he's your cheap version of Kante, and you can develop him to be better than Kante. He has ball control, dribbling, and type possession. I would get everything of that above 75. Hello, Ragnar, hello. Above 75. Low pass and lofted pass above 80. Everything else I would increase on the speed and acceleration beside the uh, quick counter and long ball counter. That's, that's something that you need to develop first thing. But speed and acceleration and defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, and defensive again. So that is how I should do with McKenna. So from this pack, I would like to get, honestly, I would like to get Bremer, I would like to get uh, Vlahovic, I would like to get. Uh, Mechania, and I would like to get Bonucci. Let's see what we'll. We have two spins. Let's see our luck. Can be Vlach, can be Vlach, 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 Vlach. It's McKenna. 
So you will now see first-handed how I develop him. And let's go. Last spin. Let's spin. I would like to get Vlahovic or Bremer. And third choice would be Bonucci, but those fir first team. Come on, let's be Vlah. Di Maria. I'm not that keen about him, but well, okay. He can be a decent backup when everyone else is not in form. But yeah. And that's it, guys. That's it for the opening packs. I don't have any more money. 20 coins.